Congratulations, Sarah. You must be mm -hmm. so excited. You've just come out of the scan. Bit of a shock, hey? Yeah, a bit of a shock. But very exciting, but a bit nervous as well. Of course. You've been found to be um, 12 and a half weeks pregnant with a non-identical twin pregnancy. Right. What does that mean? Well, there are two kinds of um, uh, twins, as you probably know. The uh, identical twins, you'll hear us use terms like monochorionic, and that means identical twins. If they have a separating membrane running between the two babies, just a single membrane called the amnion, they are then called uh, monochorionic diamniotic twins. The next um, group is where there's no separating membrane whatsoever, there's a single placenta and they're identical twins, and that's called monochorionic monoamniotic. But you have the third variety, which is in fact the um, kind of twin pregnancy with uh, fewer complications compared to the two I've mentioned. And in your case, you have what's called dichorionic, diamniotic twin pregnancy, where there are two babies with separate placentae, and they are in their own sacs, and there is a dividing membrane which has two layers, the amnion and the chorion. However, all twin pregnancies are complex pregnancies, which is why you've been sent to see us in the, in the clinic called the Multiple Pregnancy Clinic. Yes. And you'll see us throughout the pregnancy, uh, and the, the continuity of care will be provided for you in this clinic, although we would expect you to continue your normal antenatal checks in the community with your community midwife. Will I have to visit the hospital more often? There are several reasons why you would need extra scans. For instance, um, after the usual 20-week scan, you would have growth scans for the babies starting from about 26 weeks onwards at monthly intervals. We try to reduce the number of trips to and fro from the hospital uh, to scan by trying to arrange the clinic appointments on the same day as your growth scan so that it minimizes the, the um, problems for travel for you. You might ask me, why is it a complex pregnancy? Well, unfortunately, not all multiple pregnancies, and I don't want you to um, be frightened about these statistics, but it's something that you must be aware of. Um, compared to singleton pregnancies, the loss of pregnancy rate is higher with multiple pregnancies. Now, in a dichorionic twin pregnancy, in other words, fraternal twins, but they're non-identical, 38 weeks is the equivalent of 42 weeks gestation for a singleton baby. So it means that after that point, there is an increased risk that afterbirth might just stop working and therefore the increased incidence of, unfortunately, stillbirth. So once you've reached about 38 weeks, that's the time to plan delivery. And the mode of delivery is very much based on your, the type of twins, in other words, identical or non-identical, if there were any problems in the growth pattern of the babies prior to the point of 38 weeks, or if you develop complications. But otherwise, if it's an uncomplicated twin pregnancy with both babies growing well, it is the, the presentation of the first baby that calls the shots. Mm -hmm. If your first baby lies as anything other than head down, it would be a cesarean section. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that being the risks of cord compression, cord prolapse, the umbilical cord um, Go, going to spasm if it prolapses, and also premature separation of the afterbirth from the wall of the uterus, which is called abruption, uh, are more common with malpositions of the babies. And also, if the first baby is breached, there is the uh, tiny possibility of a condition called head locking, which is not something we would um, risk. So. Any unit in this country will offer a cesarean section if the leading baby is lying as anything other than head down. Nothing of what I, uh, all the risks that I mentioned need to happen, but it is just be aware of those facts. But at the end of the day, we want to celebrate um, the birth of two happy babies and you being safe and sound.
You look quite um, taken aback with all this information. <laughs> Most of the twins come out all right, and um, you'll be having um, two lovely um, babies to keep you going for a very long time. Oh, that's good. And <laughs> <You're my toes. laughs> yeah.